Okay, so this might take uh, two videos to make. But basically, I'm going to be showing you how to write random numbers that don't repeat. We, so we already know about random numbers here. But what if we want to write ten random numbers that won't repeat? Or let's just say five random numbers that won't repeat here. What I have here, I have... I'm just going to... Um, I'm not going to show you the source code yet. But basically what I have here, I have five numbers that are one through five. One, two, three, four, five. And right here, I didn't just, these numbers will not repeat. One, two, three, four, five. There's all five numbers here. Two, four, one, five, three. All numbers are there, but they will not repeat, and none of them will be skipped. Three, four, one, five, two. So does this make sense here? I want you to write. Just like if you have um, five items in a bag, and you pull them out one at a time randomly. I want you to write the code that does that. So go ahead and pause this video and try to write it. Now what I'm going to do, if you're still having trouble here, if you didn't, if if you don't know where to begin, um, just try to think about it. Or um, I'm going to bring up this PowerPoint and I'm going to give you a clue. Okay. So first, let's just say we have an array of numbers here. Now right here, I'm going to bring up the last source code. Um, okay, so uh, let's just, I just want to uh, show you this here. I want to go back a couple steps here. Now we wrote something like this, 4. 4 int is x greater than 5, and as long as x is greater than 0, we'll say x minus minus. We wrote something like this. Then we're going to output x here. And notice that I don't have this for loop in a set of braces here, so it's only going to look at this first statement here. It won't. This sends this the C out uh, statement is is um well is the only thing inside the loop. Everything else is outside the loop. We run this here, and we're getting numbers here: two, one, zero, zero, zero. Here, let me uh, put these on new lines here so we can read it. Notice I don't have a space between here. I don't need a space. You can cram everything together if you'd like. So we got 42210 here. Now we already went over that the last numbers here are, are going to be 0. This last number is going to be 0. This last second last one here will be 0 or 1. We have a larger range at the beginning to choose from. 30110 here. So that's your hint. So if you want to, you can go ahead and pause this video again. If you don't, if you still, if you still can't figure it out, I mean, this is a hard one. This is a, this is kind of a tough one, so it might take you a little bit. It might be a little frustrating here, so go ahead and pause this video and try to figure it out. But I'm just going to go on here. So basically, I have I have an array of items here. I have an array of boxes here. I have five different boxes here, and they each have something in them. They have a the first box has a zero in it. So basically. I have an item. I have five items here. A five here. And uh, they each have this in them. They each have an item, a one, two, three, four, five in each one respectively, like this at first. Okay. So so that's another start here. So you can pause the video whenever you want if you think you got it figured out. Oh, and this is supposed to be an int. And um, so basically, what we want to do is uh, let's say we run this piece of code here. And let's just say it doesn't. This these items don't do anything yet. And I have a four. So let's say. Uh, <clears throat> so let's just say our first number is a three. So what I want to do. I, t I pick a random number from 0 to 4. In this case, it's a 3 here. So since it's a 3 here, 
I want to output the value of this box to the screen. So basically, let's pretend um, this part here is the black box here. I want to print this 4, whatever's in this box here, to the screen here. And the first number should be printed a 4 here. Now because of that, I'm basically not going to use this 4 again, so I want to take all the boxes that are in front of it and move this down here. So basically, this is going to equal the uh, the previous box here. So let's just say this is destroyed here for a second. And I want everything in this box here to be shifted over to this box here. So this is just the algorithm here. Try to So I print 4 to the screen here. And then I want to set the fourth one equal to the one in front of it here. So I'm basically not going to use this array anymore. Now next, I'm only going to pick a random number from four numbers this time. So let's say we look at it again and I pick another three again. We pick the next random number happens to be three again here. So we look at this third box here. And then we bring this one here to the screen. Then we're basically done with this box here. Okay, so now we're going to pick a number from 0 to 2, a random number here. Let's look at here. Oh, we picked 1 this time. So we look at this random number here. It happens to be 1 here. And we would take the contents of that box and put print that one to the screen. So this is just the this is just how I'm doing this here. This is how this is this is how my program is running here. This is how my code works. You just print it just like that. Now we're going to pick a number from 0 or 1, a random number here. Oops. Let's just say it's a 0 this time. So we take the box out of 0 here. And this time it's 1. Then we're going to take everything else and shift it down. Now finally the last number is random mod 1, which is always going to be this one here. And now, well, we printed all our numbers to the screen randomly using this type of a uh, trick here. So this is our hint here. We make an array is our first hint, and then we just um, shift these down here. So let me run this again. Let's say uh, we run this again here. Let me get some good numbers here as an example. Mm. <clears throat> and I'll, I'll I'll probably have to make another video here. So 00210, I guess that'll work. So let me uh, okay so we're back at, so we have, let's just run this again here. This is just another, this is going to do this, I'm just going to do the same thing here. So first we're going to pick a random number from 0 to 5 here. Okay so first time we pick 0. Okay so right here, we randomly pick 0 here. That's going to be the box number here. In this case, we're going to take the contents out of that and print that to the screen here. So this pretend this black box is our like window here, and that's our Windows program that comes up when we press uh, debug. Then we're going to take all our values in front of that and shift them down one. I'm just going to shift them down one. Ugh. Jerk. Ugh. Alright, finally. So now we we're going to prick a random... Now look, these values have different num... These num... Uh, these boxes have different values in them before. That's the point. Then we pick another random number here. In this case, it's zero again. So we pick this zero here. And we print that one to the screen. Then, because it's zero here, we're gonna shift these down again. Notice that we're only using three arrays now. We're gonna pick a random number from zero from random odd three now. Notice that's decrementing, so we might have to use a decrement variable like n. Inmit n will equal five, then maybe n will equal four the next time, then n equals three. 
to pick a random number just like we did here. In this case we're using X, so X is going to be useful. This piece right here will be going inside our array at first. So let's say we have item. We're going to see out item mod X here. And then when we get through the loop, X will be minus minus. That's just a start. Okay, so next let's look at what else is here. So we look at our third time here. Now this time it's two. So we'll, since it happens to be two, we'll just put this to the screen. In this case, it doesn't have to move anything down. <clears throat> and uh, so the source code will be on the next video here. Then look, I print I print off a one here. That will be brought up here. And then finally zero. The last one's always going to be zero. Does that make sense? Because uh, we only have one box left, and it's going to be it's always going to pick that one last randomly. So basically, this is the algorithm that'll print all these numbers here to the screen. So let's just run this quick quickly this time here. And I'm going to make them up. So let's say I, I pick a random number. Let's say it's 1 this time here. Print that to the 2 here. Then we will move these rain remaining ones down. Oh, twice. I hate that. It's annoying. Okay, we move this one down. Okay. And then let's say we pr pick... Um, uh, random one again. We print it to the screen. We move them down. <laughs> How does that happen to me every time? Uh, I thought I was fast with this stuff. Okay, so then let's say we pick zero this time. And then we just keep on moving them down. Does that make sense? How this is working here? So you got to write a code that'll do that. So just to give you another hint here. And then finally the last box is always zero. The last random here, if we run this again, it's just always going to be zero. Mm -hmm. Uh, now why isn't it zero? Oh well, I, I said I printed off the rand, the item numbers here. I meant to just print off a the rand. I was printing the contents in the box, but I should have just done this just for. But I was just showing you that as a hint that you're probably going to be using that. The last one's always zero, no matter what. Okay. And then finally we print off the 5 here. So that's the trick. That's what, that's the, uh, that's going to be our logic here. Well, that's going to be my logic when I write mine here. So if you can already get yours to run, that's great. But here's how mine runs. And I just, I showed it to you earlier. Now I'm going to show you the source code next in the next video. Or actually, I'll write it. I'll write it from. I'll just rewrite it and then explain it. Since I, I'll just write it in a new project. And then it's just two five one four three, and it just, it just uses the same trick. Two five one four three. We I mean, it'll just take random numbers here, just like from this little piece here. And the random, and the random size, right here. Like this is a random size here. It'll get smaller every time because it's going to decrement. Okay, so stay tuned to uh, see the rest of the video.